chief race beta Dr. Scholler has shown her true colours again by staggeringly slamming the Auschwitz Holocaust Memorial as an embarrassment to humanity. Responding to a tweet from the group which asked people to follow their account, Dr. Scholler snapped, I unfollowed you after your disgraceful endorsement of Israel's extermination, ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestinians. The museum should be ashamed of itself. Never again means never again for anyone. You're an embarrassment to humanity. Yeah, that was how she started the new year, by the way. Happy New Year, let's shout at a Holocaust museum. Remarkably, Dr Scholler was honoured by Newcastle University last month after being an equality champion, combating discrimination and promoting diversity. That is despite having previous for saying that baby killer Lucy Letby could get away with murder because she was a white woman, comparing Israel to Nazi Germany and saying, quote, whiteness is a sickness. But isn't this kind of hypocrisy par for the course from the left? Climate doomster actress Emma Thompson took to the streets with Extinction Rebellion last year, yet saw no problem frolicking on a private super yacht off Venice. Meanwhile, multi-millionaire open border Democrats living in the super-exclusive Martha's Vineyard estate in the US were almost sick in their mouth when a busload of illegal migrants landed on their lawns last year. So, tonight I am asking, are all woke role models frothing hypocrites? Let me know your thoughts. Email me gbviews at gbnews.com. Tweet me at gbnews. While you're there, go and take part in our poll. It's live now. Battling this one out is social commentator Joanna Jarju and free speech champion Toby Young. Both of you, thank you very much. It's always ladies first. Joanna, are the woke mo role models all frothing hypocrites? I don't really see how. I think that, um, you know, we're all human beings. And I think that for a lot of the people that some other people might call woke are just people who are trying to genuinely live better lives and trying to be a bit more compassionate. That doesn't mean that as human beings, we don't all have certain emotions and that we don't, you know, all make mistakes. It's like people who are obviously interested in the climate debate. People try and maybe, you know, change different things within their lifestyles, but it doesn't mean that, you know, they're hypocrites just because people are kind of standing by and waiting for them to, you know, slip up at any minute. What, like getting on a business class flight or, or getting on a super yacht, I suppose? Maybe, Toby, what's your view? Yeah, well, I think I probably agree with you, Patrick, that um, most woke spokespeople are throthing hypocrites. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to engage directly with Dr. Scholar's latest rage bait because I'm beginning to suspect that she's a satirical creation whose um, Twitter uh, has been scripted by Andrew Doyle and that she's a sort of Titania McGrath-like creation designed to make the woke left look absolutely ridiculous. And if that isn't the case, then I feel a little sorry for her because everything she tweets, everything she says, just makes the woke left, makes the cause she hopes to promote look more and more silly. Attacking the Auschwitz Museum on New Year's Day, describing it as an embarrassment to humanity. I mean, you know, she should look in the mirror if she's if she's wondering what an embarrassment to humanity is. Um, uh, the idea that because the Auschwitz Museum stood up for the right of Israel to defend itself, said that the return of the hostages was a precondition of any ceasefire, the idea that that is endorsing extermination, genocide, is just completely ridiculous. She's doing her side no favours, oh, right. Joanna, how can someone be pro-diversity but also think that whiteness is a sickness? Um, well, to be honest, I thought that we we're going to discuss a bit more about what Dr. Scholler actually um, talks about when it comes to the uh, Holocaust okay. Memorial. And I think in that sense, actually, um, I think it's completely right to call out, you know, injustice when you see it. I think um, the problem here is that there's a mismatch between how people, different groups view the Holocaust Memorial. Um, so... When it comes to some side of some uh, half of people, they're thinking that it's all about, you know, the, the legacy of everything that's happened to the Jewish community. Other people see it as, you know, a reference point to humanity. So to have somebody, you know, a group and to have this, you know, Twitter account tweet out something like that, which is an endorsement of um, the, the Israeli state. And also to tweet that out at a point where, you know, 10,000 people had died by then. It doesn't look like it's actually acknowledging the whole never again slogan and you can't have it both ways, unfortunately. So I don't think that, you know, there's anything hypocritical about calling out injustice. Toby? I don't think Dr Shola was calling out injustice. I think she was, she was. deliberately 
um, courting outrage in the hope of getting clicks. I mean, it's not it's not in any way hypocritical for a museum memorialising what happened in the concentration camps in Nazi Germany to support the state of Israel's right to exist. Um, the Holocaust is what happened when the Jews didn't have a homeland, when they had no one to fight for them, to protect them, no standing army. Uh, so I think it's completely understandable that a museum which commemorates what happened at Auschwitz should defend Israel's right to exist and its right to defend itself, particularly in the wake of the worst massacre of Jewish people uh, since the Second World War, which is what happened in southern Israel on October 7th. I mean, I find it very uh, perplexing, Patrick. Hmm. Oh, I think we've lost Toby, have we? I think they're on the side of humanity. And uh, have you lost me? No, I've got you. Carry on. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, I, th I find it perplexing. Uh, Patrick, the people on the left, people who think of themselves as on the side of social justice, as humanitarians, uh, can't bring themselves yeah. to condemn what happened on October 7th, can't bring themselves to identify Hamas as a terrorist organisation. Oh. It is just baffling to me. OK, I mean, Joanna, to be honest, people are scratching their heads as to how somebody like Dr Shola can be hailed up as a moral bastion of virtue in this world and tweet some things that people regularly find utterly vile. Look, I think that Dr. Scholar's language is definitely strong, to put it lightly, and I don't think that, you know, it's always the best approach to use when you want to kind of campaign for something, which maybe the intent of it is sincere. But let's not forget that Dr. Scholar was actually following this page before this. She unfollowed for a reason because she felt as if the things that the page was saying were basically um, betraying the greater good of what the page is supposed to be about, about when we think about Auschwitz, about when we think about Holocaust Memorial. Yes, it's something in a legacy, as a, you know, a part of the Jewish community that we should never forget. But it also changed the whole trajectory of Europe and the way that we see things. And this whole never forget thing, I don't think that, you know, should um, be completely forgotten now. I just, find just, it Look, I, I just find it, I do find it utterly remarkable that somebody can be an equality champion, combating discrimination and promoting diversity when viewing everything through the prism of race and spouting about race all the time. And I would argue, Toby, as well, you know, doing quite a lot to define us. The, 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 the base Baby killer Lucy Letby could get away with murder because she was a white woman. I, I mean, Toby, yeah, this stuff's ridiculous, no? It's it's so divisive, Patrick. Um, uh, it's it's an example of reverse racism. Um, it's exactly the kind of thing that Claudine Gay has been embarrassed about and why she's had to resign as the president of Harvard, making her the shortest lived president in the history of Harvard University. This kind of reverse racism is every bit as disgusting as straightforward racism. And um, I think people are gradually waking up to that fact. And I think people who endorse this reverse racism uh, w w I think their careers are going to be fairly short-lived now. Maybe Dr. So Shola won't, won't work as yeah, short-lived as Claudine Gay. She's probably definition. not going to be with us for much longer. Yeah, all right. Very quick, John. Go on. That isn't even the one. Well, first of all, that isn't even the definition of reverse racism. And actually, I think that what Dr. Shola, again, and some of the words that she uses aren't words that I would particularly use. They're very strong and sometimes can, you know, teeter on the edge of being offensive. But actually, I think what she was trying to, um, you know, point out was the fact that there is unconscious bias in these situations in terms of who is seen as more threatening, potentially, and who is seen as somebody uh -huh. who is more innocent. And maybe Lucy Letby fit more of the archetype. We see it all the time when it comes to discrimination. It's in the numbers. So it's nothing to do with reverse racism. It's more about unconscious bias. Oh, both of you, thank you very, very much. Great stuff there. Proper head-to-head, -head. Joanna Jarju there. Uh, of course, the social commentator and free speech champion, Toby Young. So who do you agree with? Are all woke role models frothing hypocrites? Barry on Twitter says, Patrick, she's one of, if not... The biggest racist in this country. Obviously, Dr. Scholler would deny this. These are Barry's views. She should be investigated. Dev said on Twitter, what a despicable thing to say. Why on earth are figures like her allowed to get away with saying such things? But Phoebe on Twitter says, in no way is Shouty Scholler a role model. Right, not a huge amount of different shades of grey there when it comes to the response about, uh, uh, about the old uh, woke icons being frothing hypocrites. Your verdict is now in. 94% of you agree that woke role models are hypocrites. 6% of you say they are. Oh.